Well, special counsel Robert Mueller has charged more than a dozen Russian nationals with trying to undermine confidence in U.S. democracy. These are the first criminal charges against Russians, accused of secretly trying to disrupt the 2016 presidential election. Justice reporter Paula Reed has the latest. The Russian conspirators want to promote discord in the United States. On Friday, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein revealed new details about how the Russians meddled in the 2016 election. The defendants posed as politically and socially active Americans, advocating for and against particular candidates. Prosecutors allege 12 Russian nationals worked for a company called Internet Research Agency in this nondescript building in St. Petersburg, Russia. The company employed English speakers who posed as Americans to stir up controversy on social media leading up to the election. The Russian operatives were allegedly instructed to use any opportunity to criticize Hillary and the rest, except Sanders and Trump, we support them. The operation was funded by Yevgeny Prigozhin, a close associate of President Vladimir Putin. Russia's former ambassador to the U.S., Sergei Kislyak, dismissed the charges. Whatever allegations are being mounted against us are, are simply fantasies that are being used for political reasons inside the United States. The indictment also alleges that some members of the Trump campaign unwittingly shared some of the Russian propaganda on social media. But Rosenstein emphasized that there are no allegations that any Americans had knowledge of the operation. The nature of the scheme was that the defendants took extraordinary steps to make it appear that they were ordinary American political activists. Special counsel investigators say they've also uncovered new evidence against former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort and could charge him with fraud in addition to the dozen charges he's already facing. Now, Manafort's trial is not scheduled to begin until the fall, which suggests the special counsel's work will continue through this year and likely into next year as well. Rena. Paula Reed in Washington. Thanks, Paula.